super pedas. Oh wow, that smells amazing. I'm just gonna have to eat the drumstick on my first bite. This sauce just brings it to the next notch. Maybe the best grilled chicken of anywhere in the world. Your mouth will just go crazy. Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I am in Mataram, which is on the island of Lombok in Indonesia. And today we're gonna go on an Indonesian food tour of Mataram. We're gonna eat some amazing street food and yeah, the food here, I, I absolutely love it and I can't wait to share it with you today. It is exactly 8 a.m. and we have arrived at the breakfast spot. It's actually called the Dipo Kelebet. Okay, this, this is the spot. Hello. Hello. Can you have bebalung? Yeah. yeah Two, please. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. This is processed product. Oh, here it is cooking. Hello. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice. This is, it's called bebalung. Mm, bebalung. This is where the pots of bebalung, which is a, a beef rib stew, are cooked. So you can oh. see tomatoes floating around. You can see the spices. You can see a layer of some, some, some fat on top. And they are preparing for for masses of people to come and eat here, especially, I think, I think especially in the middle of the morning and in the, and for lunch as well. Breakfast in Mataram is simmering in this pot. Oh, and it looks incredible. I'm going into the dining room to start eating. I'm very glad that we arrived when we did because they're not so busy now, but from what, I, well, from what I've read, from what locals have told me, you cannot come here past 12 noon because they'll be sold out. And you can see how many pots they had in the back. They had, they have, had five pots and they were about to make more pots. You can see the spices in there, it's clear broth and then it's served with a plate of rice as well as a little dish of sambal. And then I got my Indonesian drink beverage of choice which is este tawar, which is an iced, iced tea, no sugar. And then you can see these just chunks of ribs. Okay, let's just taste that broth. Oh, oh, that is, there's no denying that that is beef. Mm, and then you can taste the onions in there. You can taste just that, that natural sweetness from the tomatoes and maybe some turmeric in there to make it yellow as well. Okay, let's move on to the, the bulkier and bigger things in this bowl, the beef rib chunks. I, I predict that this will just slide off the bone. Wow. It's so unbelievably tender. It's literally just melting on my tongue right now. And look at how clean that bone is. And really, really flavorful, yet without, without the beef being gamey at all. They've done a good job to, to use a light blend of seasoning and spices to just give it the, to just enhance the, the, the natural flavor of the beef. A little sambal here. I will add this to the beef. And just kind of look, you do not need a knife. They do, there's a reason they do not give you a knife here. You just do not need it for these ribs. Wow. That was a nice, like, fatty piece of rib. And you can just taste how it has been simmered for so many hours over the firewood. It almost has that, that smoky, fiery taste to it, to, to add to all of those beefy flavors. Just be a little bit careful of the bone charge. That meat, though. Wow. That meat is the reason everybody comes here. And that sambal is also awesome. Terima kasih. Yeah, <laughs> Terima kasih. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was, that was, I, I think that, that has to be the best way to start your morning in Mataram. Oh, that was good. And now they're starting to get busy. I'm Amri, oh, Mark wins this nice to meet you. <laughs> Can we take a selfie? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, <laughs> it's like a dream. One of the most prominent structures in all of Mataram city is the central mosque, the Islamic center. It's just up the road, so we're gonna stop by before we continue eating. It's really impressive to see when you are in Mataram.
Wow, thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm getting a nice tour by some very uh, friendly employees here and they brought me into, oh, wow. this is the main dome of the mosque and it is, it is huge and really, really beautifully designed. She mentioned to me that this is the biggest mosque in all of West Nusa Tenggara which includes Lombok and Sumbawa Islands, I believe. The name in Bahasa Indonesia? Hub Cinta Oh, in Arabic, Masjid Hubul Watan. And then in Indonesian? Cinta Tanah Air. We just jumped into a taxi and we're on our way to an area called Ampenan and hopefully to get another plate of amazing Lombok food. Beef. Beef. Uh, beef. Uh, liver one. And for the next one, uh, liver. Uh, liver. 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 And liver. also the. Uh, oh, this one is the beb. Um, long bean. Long, long, long bean. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This chicken, yeah. chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Some chicken. Long bean. You want egg? You want egg? Egg, yes, please. One. one. Like uh, ST Tower. Uh, ST Tower. Okay. ST Tower, one, two. In our Amaika Doya. Okay, two, please. Two, two, two. Two, please. please. Nasi Champur, anywhere in Indonesia, is one of my absolute favorite meals because that just means rice with mix. And so you normally, sometimes you, you get the champur and they mix the dishes for you, but at this place, uh, you get to choose what you want. They probably have about over a dozen different dishes that you can choose from. Again, people are so friendly here. And so I choose a, chose a mix of different dishes. So we got an egg here. I got, this is a piece of liver. There's some beef. I got a, a little tiny piece of chicken. This is, this is a little beauty, like a, an entire thigh and drumstick one biter. This is another piece of chicken. I got some satay and some sambal and send some fried, perhaps fried instant noodles. I'm gonna move into that piece of liver first. Break a piece of that, that liver off. Add a little bit of that sambal, a little bit of that sambal, a little bit of that salad. Mix everything up with some rice. Oh man. Oh, that has some flavor to it. Maybe the coconut and the, the turmeric in there and maybe garlic and shallots and then it's kind of a tomato-y, chili sambal. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and then that liver is, is thick and hearty. But that beef is awesome. And that chili is properly spicy. Oh, that will go up, up your nose a little bit. Okay, mix that in with, again with the rice. Mm. Oh, wow. My first, it almost tastes like pepperoni. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it. You can taste that there are red chilies uh, mixed within the minced meat. And then, I think lemongrass. Uh, lemongrass and maybe galangal in there as well. That is an entire thigh and drumstick. Again, like the sambal in Lombok is just, it's just ridiculously good. Oh yeah. <laughs> The chicken in Indonesia as a whole, and then in on Lombok, the free range, the natural chicken, it's real chicken, it's the real thing. It's really good. Uh, just for two days. Yeah. That beef is just insane. Terima kasih. Oh, that was another awesome meal. Thank you, terima kasih, nice to meet you. <laughs> that was delicious food, such a good mixture, and it's called Sukaraja. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. This is very, very spicy. Super pedas. Yeah, super pedas. Mm. We definitely came to the right Nasi Champur restaurant because while we were there... Stephanie. Diana Stephanie. And Stephanie and... And Diana. And Diana. And Diana. Uh, Diana. Very nice to meet you and thank you. They are yeah. dropping us off at a market which is called Kebon... Ruat. And so that's where we're heading next. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for the ride and nice to meet you. We are now at the market. This is a big, fresh, wet market. 
you can buy everything here, all the fresh ingredients that you need. There's a lot of beef, there's a lot of chicken, uh, there's a lot of spices, all the, all the ingredients that go into Lombok Indonesian food cooking. Oh, hello. Oh, and they're chopping up some serious oh, no. coconuts over here. Oh, very nice. This is a great local fresh wet market right in the center of Mataram. Check out the size of this fish that I just yeah. came across. Yeah, two balls. Wow, it's a big fish. Yeah. And it has a square face. Huh? We're gonna jump back in the taxi and we're going to the closest beach in Mataram, which is the Pantai Antenam. This is just a very short ride and we are on the ocean front here. The ocean is really clean and really beautiful here and it's a black sand beach, but it's really, really quiet here right now. I think most people come here in the evening for the sunset, uh, but I'm gonna be busy at some other street food restaurants for this evening, so uh, we're just gonna stop here just to enjoy the view and I'm having an iced tea again. So we are going to continue on to eat some of the most famous, well-known satay in Mataram. And this is one of the most well-known of all satay in all of Mataram. And many of you recommended it, so thank you very much for this recommendation. As soon as I stepped out of the taxi, I could smell the aroma of that grilling meat. They do have a nice seating area, uh, both tables in the back and uh, a lounge area for eating as well. Oh, nice, the food has just arrived. We got the classic satay rembiga, oh, and then also a plate of rice, and also some uh, plecing kangkung, which is the, the water spinach. There's some bean sprouts on there, and the sambal plecing, which is a shrimp paste, chili, uh, this is just is one of the classic dishes of Lombok. And they don't serve you any sauce or sambal to go with the satay. So All the flavor you need is already caked onto the satay. Mmm. Okay. Oh wow. Whoa, that's complex. Okay, at first you taste sweet. But as you keep on chewing, it gets spicier and spicier. It's slightly nutty. But I don't, I don't think there's any kind of peanut sauce in it, but it has kind of a little bit of a nutty taste. These skewers just go down so easily. I mean, the meat on the skewers, that is. But, yeah, it's kind of, they are really kind of sweet, but I think the complexity and followed by the spiciness makes them so addictive, actually. That kind of has the same flavor of the satay. It's sweet at first, and then builds in spice. Oh, that sambal is nice. Oh, that has some heat to it. If you eat a bunch of that sambal, it will go straight to the back of your throat. That's awesome. That satay is so incredibly addictive. I finished my first plate without even like, just eating one skewer after another, and immediately had to order another plate of satay. I think I would call that some of the most addictive satay that I've ever had anywhere. You just wanna, you don't wanna stop eating. You wanna keep on eating that forever. Do you remember earlier today when we were just walking past and uh, he pulled up on his motorbike? I'm Amri, I'm Mark Wins, it's <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> He uh, happened to have a meeting at the hotel that we're staying at and then when we came back this afternoon, we saw him again and he finished with work and he's gonna accompany us. He's gonna come pick us up. He's gonna accompany us now to go eat what is probably the most well-known of all Lombok dishes throughout Indonesia. 
and it happens to be one of my absolute favorite Indonesian foods ever. Hi! On to one of the highlights that you have to eat when you come to Lombok. We made it to Rumah Makan Taliwang Udin. And this is a place to come to eat, eat ayam bakar taliwang, which is grilled chicken, um, Lombok style, and it's one of the greatest styles of grilled chicken in the world. They have the, the sweet one, the sweet soy sauce one, and then they have the spicy one, and they have the super pedas, which is the extra pedas, which is the extra spicy. And that's the one we are eating. Yeah. <laughs> For the super pedas, he literally like scooped on a ladle of just pure chili sauce onto our chicken and then this one is the sweet one for Ying with the ketchup manis. This has to be one of the most amazing, not only tasting grilled chickens in the world, but how they make it. And these are just little, little, tiny, tiny little chickens. They're really small, but that, that's what makes them so packed full of flavor. They're, they are just the pure natural chickens, and they, they kind of like tie them up with their wings behind their back and their neck kind of like wrapped around. We got rice, we've got a couple of different salads, including the Plaching Kangkung, the Morning Glory salad, and then we also got the Beberuk with eggplant. Okay, with eggplant. Squeeze on the, the lime to get started. Oh, there are a bunch of seeds fell out, but that's okay. And I think I'll just break off that, break off the drumstick, kind of dissect this entire chicken. Okay, I'm just gonna have to eat the drumstick on my first bite. That's my, yes. my tradition. Oh man. It's, it's really, it's so good. Oh wow. That chicken is also really juicy. Yes. Even though it's really skinny. That's what you call explosive flavor. It's just like pure, pure chilies in that sauce. I mean, it's, it's spicy but you taste really the flavors of the chili. And this one is the extra spicy sauce. You can just see, look at how thick and rich that is with chilies. I wanna, I wanna maximize the flavor of this sauce in this bite too. Onto the rice. Oh, look at it, it's just, it's just one of a kind. This is literally, literally the greatest chicken, maybe the best grilled chicken of anywhere in the world. Insane flavors that your your mouth will just go crazy. I want to try some of that eggplant salad as well. Eggplant salad, and it's also, is it also uh, sambal plecheng? Yes. Okay, so it's they, similar to yes. this one. They also use just with eggplant. Spicy one, yes. Okay, okay. And I, I'm gonna add some chicken to that bite as well. This is just the ultimate happy meal combo in Lombok. Oh, it's good. I'm already sweaty right now, sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But it tastes so good. This chicken will make you sweat. The chicken actually is so good that it doesn't need any extra sauce, but but dunking it into this, this sauce just brings it to the next notch. It's like adding an explosion to fire. And that's what you want. <laughs> yeah. Just insane. <laughs> that chicken is so irresistibly good that it's actually impossible to stop at one chicken. You have to eat two chickens. So we just we just ordered another ayam taliwang, the super pedas. The flavor overload is will blow your mind. Not only the chicken, but that sauce is just blowing my taste buds right now. It's just it's just unbelievable.
Oh man. Yeah. I'm in like a I'm in like a a world I've never been before. I am Taliwan is literally like the single reason why you have to visit Lombok. I'm gonna make a little bit of an extreme claim right now, but out of all the grilled chicken that I've ever had anywhere in the world, Ayam Bakar Taliwang from Lombok is probably the best of the best of all grilled chickens in the world. At least definitely for me. Thank you very much, Amri. That was life-changing grilled chicken. <laughs> and now we're on our way to go eat dinner number two. The next restaurant that we're at tonight is called Seafood 88 and this is a place that's famous for, for seafood. It's along the side of the road and here we're going to meet up with another group uh, for dinner, seafood dinner this time. Hey, Hello, good to see you. You can come up to the front here and they have a whole ice chest full of fish and we're going to choose a fish for dinner tonight. Yes. <laughs> Hi, from Rongo. Thank you so much. Okay, the ikan bakar is ready. We got a big, we chose the fish, we got a big fish, and then they put some, uh, like a glaze marinade over the fish. They butterfly cut it, and then they grill it over just a crazy, like, lava hot fire. And I'm a huge fan of Indonesian ikan bakar. I'm just gonna try the fish first before, before moving into the chilies. Oh yeah, it's like so buttery, soft, and then you can really taste the flavor of the fire in that fish. It's just, oh, it's wonderful. I love it. The chilies are so fragrant. They have a little sour taste to them. Then you've got the shallots in there, and then that is kind of a, it's like ketchup manis is a sweet soy sauce, but it, it it's really good. It really complements the fish. It really goes well with the rice as well. And that is some awesome ikan bakar. Deep fried squid and then dip that in and grab a, grab a chili with that piece of squid as well. Oh, that works perfectly as a little, as a little scooper. Oh yeah. It has a little bit of a, a chewiness to it, but it has that, that deep fried crust around it. And then with that sweet soy sauce, and again, those chilies are so fragrant. Mm. It's a little bit sweet. It tastes like sweet from the vegetables, from the corn. And then also a little bit sour. It's very like soothing and calming. That completes this Mataram food tour. And I want to say thank you to all of my friends for coming out and joining us today for dinner. Thank you and great to meet all of you. And Lombok has been amazing. Lombok is known for having some of the spiciest food and it really, it's really a food lover's like excitement here in Lombok. My favorite meal was, was definitely the Ayam Bakar Taliwang. That literally is a reason to fly straight to Lombok. That, that grilled chicken will like set grilled chicken, spicy grilled chicken to a new level for you. It really is like a, a transcendent experience. There's, it's, it's unbelievably good. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. I'm gonna be sharing with you lots more food and travel videos. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.